so I don't know if I word anything like better. Like, oh man, I liked you better at this point right, in your right. life. We, yeah, we yeah. Love our but kids like, equally at yeah. all amounts of time, but, but there are times easier, that are definitely yes. <laughs> easier and harder is yes. definitely a thing. Oh, dude, I feel like it's been a while. It has been. It, I mean, it has. Been. You were down in Florida. I was on. I was on vacation. Vacation. Is it really a vacation oh, if you, you have kids? Well, okay, so here's the deal. And I think this is actually going to touch into what we're talking about tonight. So I'm yeah. not going to fully jump into it. It was a very nice vacation. It was very warm in Florida. Um, it's nice to sit on the beach and do nothing. Um, I literally sat on the beach and did nothing. So my wife wonderful. was like, why aren't you like reading or something? I'm like, I don't want to. I just want to sit here and do nothing. Um, it was also a little stressful. Yeah. Because Mia is in a hardcore daddy's girl phase. Yeah. Which for me right now sounds wonderful, but I can understand we're going to be like, okay. Like it's a, it could be a bit much maybe. Did it's, you guys drive or did no, you guys? Oh, you flew. I was going to say, I've never driven long distance with the kids and I don't think I ever want to. No. <laughs> Though honestly, I mean, okay, flying 100% better. Like not even a contest. But it was still a little rough. Yeah. So like. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Like we took off. So we flew out of Fort Wayne, which was amazing. Direct flight. Amazing. Um, downside was we didn't get her her own seat. We just like made her a lap child. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, saves a lot of money. But downside is she's almost two. She's sitting on my lap the whole flight. Like that's not. Yeah. A fun thing. So we actually like we got on our flight for Florida and. Um, we had gotten the window seat and the aisle seat and the guy comes and sits down in the, or we got window seat in the middle seat. Guy comes sits in the aisle seat and I'm like, this is going to suck for two and a half hours. And he's kind of, she's kind of like kicking him a little bit, like not intentionally, obviously, but you know, it's a toddler. And before we take off, there's like a row, two rows in front of us. It's completely empty. And I see him eyeing it. And, like, for five minutes, he's, like, trying to decide if he's going to go for it. And I see, like, it going in his head. And I'm just thinking, move. Please move. I love you, but please move. Please move. <laughs> and finally, like, he gets up and moves. I'm like, yes. Oh, there So we you got go. the aisle. Yeah. But then on the way home, I was like, yeah, we're not messing with this. So we got to our gate. I went to the ticket counter. And I had Mia with me, which was key. Like, got to bring the cuteness. Yeah. And, uh, and I walk up, and they're like, oh, she's so cute. I'm like. I'm yeah, already getting what yeah. I want. And um <laughs> and uh they're like, what can we do for him? I'm like, well, so we have the window seat and the middle seat. Um, and I'm just curious if there's any rows that have all three, uh, because she was a big disturbance to the person on the flight here. Uh, and we would just love for her to not be a disturbance for someone. You know, yeah. play up the like, yeah, we yeah, don't want yeah, to disturb yeah. everyone else. Exactly. And she was like, Oh yeah, of course I can do that for you. Put us in a row all by ourselves. No way. That was great. That's awesome. But it was still long flight because she didn't sleep. Yeah, it's and tough. So it's just constantly trying to. Yeah, you know, we flew. We flew to a Utah once, and that's um, a long flight. It was a f- very long flight with Noah, who was two. No, he was one. Okay. Oh my gosh! See, here's the thing. I think so, if they're if they're the age where they're still kind of like under one, like still breastfeeding, you know, they're not really crawling and stuff like that. It's a lot easier. Well, he was the screen. It was a screaming oh. stage of one, so we were barely we barely made it to our flight in Chicago, and um, we were rushing in. And the 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 flight attendant was like, "It's okay, you're here. We got you." And, and they said, "In fact, we'll set you up in the seats in first class because it's right there. You have kids. You have a lot more space." And we're like, "Oh, we're so thankful." But he screamed the whole time. <laughs> and I can about imagine the people that actually paid for first class yeah. just like. What is going on? Yeah. I felt a little bad. I mean, at least they didn't know that you didn't pay for it. Exactly. So yeah, yeah. Oh. So. Well, I I think that actually takes us into what we're talking about tonight. Yeah. So absolutely. We we're we're having a little discussion, a little debate, which I think honestly we're probably both on the same side of this debate here. Mm-hmm. But I am interested to hear like both takes. Yeah. On, uh, what is better? What do we prefer? And what is harder between 
newborns Mm -hmm. and toddlers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's start with the first one. What is, or the second one, I guess is because I said second, but what is harder? Like what's the harder face? Yeah. In your opinion. Yeah. No. So I don't know if I word anything like better like, oh, man, I liked you better at this point right, in your right. life. We, yeah, we yeah. love our but kids like, equally at yeah. all amounts of time, but, but there are times easier, that are definitely, yes. <laughs> easier and harder is yes. definitely a thing. And in my experience, it's dependent on the kid. Okay. 100%. And, and, the, and the reality of it is, so, and you've heard of it, and I think you agree with me, but, like, I hate terminology like the terrible twos. Oh, yeah. And it, like, doesn't, it doesn't add up for every. Kid. Oh, uh, the three nanger or whatever they're called. Cause like, Oh, like they have three attitudes, nager, three, three nanger, three nanger. Yeah. Um, terminology to describe how a kid usually acts. Oh, they're in the terrible twos. They're about to be bratty and things like that. And yeah. I hate that because you're speaking that over your kids right. and things like that. But for me in my personal experience, I have enjoyed all stages of life. Well, and okay. So you have, <laughs> but, you have one who's not yet one. Correct. You have Quinn is Quinn is almost eight months. Noah is just three. turned three. Mm-hmm. Colin's uh, fine at Colin's, five and a half. Yeah. Yes. So you've got you've got a lot more variety. <laughs> yeah. Then yeah. Then you do. Yeah. For sure. And Jimmy I would is say just twenty months. I think. Yeah. Exactly. And I think for my boys. Okay. And I would say for my boys, I enjoy the toddler stage okay. a lot more because their personalities start poking out. They wanted to wrestle. I started really. Uh, getting to know who they are as just a person because yeah. they their personality started poking out. And then currently in the state, I just adore my infant toddler. Like, she's just like, I just want nothing but to just <laughs> cuddle with her and she's love so on chill. her. She is so chill Com- <laughs> compared <laughs> to the boys at this stage. Yes, she is. Ama- it's incredible. So chill. So just sit there in her extra saucer and just and just chill. It's amazing. So I think it depends on the kid. Yeah. But for me, I, I've never really been the kind of person like when a baby's born, be like, oh, that baby looks just like, dude. Baby doesn't look like anybody. Looks like a potato. Like, like the reality. Of, <laughs> I think. I think as they grow into like, but of course, you know, obviously, you know, I just don't recognize that as well yeah, as other I don't people. Either. Emma does a lot better at that. Yeah. I will say, Quinn from birth has looked like Noah. Oh, one. On, I I agree with that. I agree. I don't with know. That. I don't know who necessarily. It's like me. Parents. It's me. Okay. Yeah, it's one hundred percent me. And it's, and it's funny see, because I see Noah so because Noah and I are were are identical. Like there's pictures of me and then Noah and it is identical. Yeah. But she has dimples, so it's a good mix between mm-hmm. Sarah and I. Mm-hmm. Um, we always say that Emma or Amelia looks like me from uh like here up and yeah. Emma from here down. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I think it really depends. And I think I've got a you know, right now Collins and, and baseball. And I love yeah, Colin's out of the toddler stage. Yeah. Yeah, I exactly. Would say, I would say Noah's still like he's on the exactly. Edge, yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and he, and it's tough yeah. and really, and like I was saying before, I hate the terrible twos. I legitimately hate speaking that over my yeah, kid. Yeah. Like you are not in a terrible stage. You yeah. are in a stage where you're trying to process things right. for the first time, right? Figure things out. Dealing with your emotions. Exactly. Which you know, honestly, half the time I'm still dealing with my emotions. <laughs> like I can't get mad at you at something that I still yeah. am struggling with yeah. on a daily basis. Um, so that's been, but it's been interesting because he's, he's so strong willed mm. and I'm strong willed too. And it's just like, sometimes we'll just, oof, yeah, we'll just battle it out. And sometimes I feel like it's uh, same thing for me and Mia. Like there will be moments where it's, uh, like just little things, right? Yeah. Like she wants a snack before dinner while I'm making dinner. I'm like, no, no, like I'm not yeah. giving you a snack. But then I start to realize like, is a snack really that bad? Like, yeah. Is she really actually even going to eat the That's dinner point, I make? Yeah. And is this more so just like me not wanting to lose, so to speak? Exactly. That's, you know? That's a good perspective. But Okay, so anyway, so for you, with the boys, the toddler season has been more enjoyable. Yeah. And then with Quinn, I mean, so far. So you're not far. Into the toddler season with Quinn yet. Yeah. But you've really enjoyed the baby season. I really, really have. I, I've enjoyed it a lot more. Not that I didn't enjoy it with right. the boys, but like I've enjoyed having my daughter like small and yeah. being able to carry her and things like that. So yeah. that is, I think that is like, it's such a special time. 
Um, and I like, don't get me wrong. Like I loved the newborn season. Um, I like one of my favorite things is like when she would like monkey curl on, yeah. me, you know? Yeah. And like, I'd just be sitting watching a show or playing Xbox. <laughs> yeah. Um, and she's just like chilling there. Like, yeah. I love it. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. But I think, I think as, especially like Mia has been, you know, I would say she's been a toddler for a while now. I don't know when they technically become toddlers. I don't know yeah. if it's like one or whatever, but, um, it's been so fun. Yeah. Like watching her personality come out, watching her like discover the world around her. Um, and like, it's just so fun at the same time. It's exhausting. Yeah. Like the nice thing about newborns is they kind of just lay there. Yeah. Right? And like oh, even, yeah. even babies to a certain point, like they kind of just chill generally. Right. I mean, Mia was super calm as a baby. Um, and so like, it's, it's really just like feed them, change them. Yeah. Don't drop them. Exactly. Know? Yeah. Uh, which so- I dropped Noah. <laughs> I dropped him. The funny story, I dropped him and panicked and took him to the emergency room. He was completely fine. I just was like, bro, if I broke my kid, I'd feel so bad. So I'm just going to take him to the ER. And they're like, yeah, he's fine. I was like, okay, just making sure. Just want to double check. <laughs> but anyway. I uh, I once, when we were older, I said something stupid like to my brother and my mom and dad. And my brother's like, mom, how many times did you drop him as a baby? And she goes, not nearly as many times as I dropped you. <laughs> That's great. Don't so, know if it's a joke. Don't know if it's. A, <laughs> it's I don't a truth. know. I think it's probably the truth. If I'm honest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. Um, something about dropping kids. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I was just saying that, like the newborns. Yeah. Newborns yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. That's easy, right? Like yeah. you just have to. Abort, make sh- yeah. Make sure they survive, right? But then, like that, like make sure they survive, gets a whole new level. Yeah. Right. Like when they become a toddler, because now they're discovering things and they can, yeah. you know, climb like Mia's at the point where she's climbing on top of the table. Like yeah. she's found a way to get up on the chairs and get up there. And like, I walk into the dining room, she's just sitting there yeah, playing with stuff on the table. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Um, or like I've realized, I realized today that she's now at the height where she can open the top drawer and pull stuff out. So she pulled out like the apple slicer while I was making dinner oh. and like she can reach the top of, if you have stuff like close yeah. to the edge on the island, she can reach it. So like, really? Yeah. I just feel like it does. You don't, you wow. wouldn't think it. Yeah. Right. It's but like, so big. I know it's nuts. And so it's like, it's one of those seasons where it's really, really fun. Yeah. It's also really exhausting. Oh yeah. Cause like that. Yeah. Yeah. They but like that was kind of what I was talking about too with vacation. Like, so we're down there and you almost expect like, so we were with Emma's whole family. So her mom and dad were there, her brothers, her brother's girlfriend, um, and then her grandparents. And so it was almost like, oh, yeah, like we're going to get a little bit of a break. Like everyone else is going to kind of be watching her. Like there's more adults. Everyone's going to want to play with her because we don't live near any of them. I mean, they're all like two hours away or more. And it was not the case. Like she was full on daddy's girl mode. Um wanted to be with me all the time. She actually like the amount of time she said, daddy, like it, ridiculous. Yeah. And we started to see like, she would say it when she was upset. She would say it like, not just like when she wanted to be, but it became like her default word like, yeah. for I'm upset. Uh, I'm not comfortable. I'm yeah. scared. Uh, yeah. you know, I need something, um, which kind of speaks yeah. to, you know, we need our heavenly father. Yeah. That's, that's a different conversation, but anyways, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. like it became exhausting. Yeah. Like there was, there was nights where like we laid in bed and I'm just like, Oh wow. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, no, I get that. It's really, really fun, but yeah. And there's, and there's, and there's a part of it like where it's, it's okay to be exhausted Yeah, and it's okay to have those feelings. Like me, there was the longest time where I was, I felt like I was supposed to feel guilty if I was just exhausted Mm. and like, I do like, I do think about it. Like I think about my mom and dad and my mom was a stay at home mom of eight kids. Yeah. And then literally within a span of like three or four years, like six of them were gone. Yeah. And I cannot imagine like, like there's going to be a moment. They're going to be, there's going to come a time where our kids aren't going to be around no. like us as, as much as they are now. Yeah. Um, they're not going to want to be with us as much as they are now. Yeah. 
Like my kid, my I, I put my kids, to, my boys to bed tonight, and Colin said, "Hey, good night, Dad. Can I get a hug and a kiss before you go?" And I, of course, absolutely. But like, I, that's not gonna last. Oh. And um, if there's a, if there's, you know, if you think about it this way, when you, when we're eighty, and if we had the opportunity to go back to right now with our kids at the age they are, I would take that in a heartbeat yeah. just to experience it all over again. So the moments are tough like that where it's yeah. just like, wow, you are exhausting. I am exhausted, but like embracing, embracing oh, them yeah. too. It's, yeah. it's, it's not easy, but it's, it's, it's possible. Yeah. And there, I, th- yeah. Yeah. No, I was just going to say like, I feel that, but like, so there was with all that going on on vacation, right? Like that's how I was feeling. There was one night we went to uh, Venice beach to take some family photos and watch the sunset And we, like, knocked out, like, the main group photos. And, of course, Mia doesn't want to be held by anyone else. She also doesn't like the sand. Like, will not walk on it. Oh, really? Yeah. So, that's that's a whole other thing at the beach. Did she sit in it or she had to sit on a towel? Towel. Really? The whole time. Interesting. Yeah. Um, So, that's a whole other thing. But once we got, like, the main family stuff done, like, I was like, okay, I just need to go sit down. So, I, I have her with me. I go sit down. Um, and we, we just sit on the sand. She's sitting on my lap and we're just watching the sunset. Uh, and it was like, it was just a really cool thing. Like it was a really yeah. cool moment. And I, and like, I thought about what you just said in the moment. I was like, this is not going to be like this forever. Yeah. And like, especially like even this like season that she's yeah. in where she just wants me, it's not going to be like this forever. And there's a little yeah. bit that's like, okay. Whew. But then there's also like, oh man, like, yeah, she's not going to want to be held by me all the time. Yeah. You know, she's not going to come running to me all the time. She's like, she did this thing earlier tonight where she was like hiding between my legs while I'm making dinner. Yeah. And like, while it can be really difficult, like yeah. it's also really, really cute. Um, and and sweet. Yeah. yeah. So, but anyway, someone, someone took a photo of that moment. Um, and it's like, I, I know that that's going to be one of those photos. Like when I'm 80, that is like yeah. my favorite photo. Oh because yeah. It'll just remind me of like, I, I won't, I'll look at that and I won't see the hardship of it. Like how yeah. difficult it was. I'll just like, wish I was back in that moment. And that's one of the, like one of the, I'm, I'm just so thankful for the access we have to that kind of stuff yeah. these days. Like we, my parents, my parents do not have that. Yeah. Um, they have the memories, which are great. Right. But like, I, I agree. There's this, um, there's just like the, like the picture I've talked about many times with Colin and I on stage mm-hmm. together. That's one of my core memory pictures. Yeah. Um, so that's awesome. And I think it's, I think it's interesting. I'm really excited, um, for you guys, for you, especially to have like a boy. Yeah. Because well, like, and even to experience, like, like you said, like each kid is different. Yeah. So like I have very, I'm very much like, Oh, newborn is easier. Toddler is my favorite. Yeah. But like that could change. Oh, for sure. And like, yeah. and I, and I can almost guarantee, and obviously it's, it's good. It could be a different experience for you, but like the moment that you're, son starts incorporating like some of your interests mm. that's when the relationship really starts oh, forming yeah. like colin and noah are obsessed with music and to sarah's dismay pokemon <laughs> <laughs> and spongebob Sp- we don't talk about spongebob don't i don't know what you're talking about, about zach we don't we don't watch spongebob uh but in <laughs> sports like um colin will shoot into the basketball ho- basketball hoop and go chef curry <laughs> Steph Curry, but he'll go Chef Curry, and, <laughs> and he's gonna learn that. They learn that from me, you know. Just being able to incorporate, you know, <laughs> Steph makes three. So if I make a three, I'm yelling Chef Curry. Um, but things like that, and I'm really yeah. excited because, like, there's there's certain things that Sarah has said. It's just like I can't wait for her to be, you know, ha- create interest. Like Sarah mm-hmm. was in uh, was a gym- gymnast, and yeah. I was like, I would love if Quinn was interested in a g- in gymnastics or ballet. Yeah. I mean, things like that. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And I think, I think it is like that can happen whether they're boys or girls too. Oh yeah. Like Mia's already doing that with like, uh, her favorite books are all these national park books. Really? And, like that's they're cool. called little naturalists. Uh, there's one that's like on John Muir and Ansel Adams and Johnny Appleseed. Yeah. They're her favorite books. And I love that's it. That's awesome. That's good. I may have conditioned her, but, <laughs> hey. um, she also knows my favorite animals sound uh we go what's a buffalo saying she goes 
<laughs> that's kind of cute. Actually. So yeah, like it's, I'm, <laughs> but I'm excited for stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, for them to really take on, because like no matter what you do, like they're watching everything you say, mm-hmm. w- or watching everything you say, watching everything you do, <laughs> hearing everything you say, all the good, all the bad. Yeah. Um, but they're they're taking what what you're doing. And they're really cr- 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 beginning to create their own identity yeah. with these bits and pieces of what they've learned around, around um, you know us and the people that they ha- they spend time with um, and things like that. And I actually had to get off. I, got, I had to get on Colin because he was pinning pinning Noah down. Thanks to, thanks to you and said, "What's the password, Noah?" No, it's, it's the password, and no, it's no, it's screaming. <laughs> I'm not letting you go until the password. <laughs> and I was like, Colin, he doesn't know how to say that. <laughs> it, at the time, it was not Gouda; it was a um, sourdough, pumpernickel. Oh, pumpernickel. Okay, so back background. Yeah, here. there, there's a fun game that Colin and I like to play, where I pick Colin up and I don't let him down until he says the password. Yeah, and it's it started because I did it once, yeah. joking with him, and I told him the password. He said it, and then I picked him up like what, two, three weeks later, and I go, what's the password? Not even thinking about, like, that he would know it, and he just goes, Pumpernickel! Like, <laughs> okay, this yeah. is our game now. Yeah, but now he's using it on his brother. <laughs> Thank <sorry>. you. <laughs> and Noah can't say Pumpernickel. So Noah's, like, screaming, ah, me! He's like, no, nah, i can I'm say Gouda, gonna... though. <laughs> he can't say we, Gouda. We, he was cha- saying... <laughs> we changed the password, the, what, yeah, last night. Yeah. And I said, the new password's Gouda. And Noah walks by and goes, Gouda! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Something that he could yeah. he could say. Yeah, I love that. So, so. okay, back to bit newborn versus toddlers. What was your newborn experience like with the kids? So, for me, like I'm thinking of the fact that like newborn, like I feel like as the dad, I didn't do too much. Which, mm-hmm. like, especially during those first couple of months, like there's not too much that you can do yeah really like i think i start like i started off waking up with emma in the middle of the night um but then i was like why yeah why i can't do anything here and then you do like you do a lot of the other stuff right like changing a lot of diapers and getting things ready like hey can you give me this cleaning up the house stuff like that but like there's almost a little bit of like i've heard this from other dads there's almost like a little bit of like I didn't enjoy the newborn season because I didn't feel like I could do much. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, that'll change once your second comes around. Yeah. Cause you're going to be sure. tied up with Mia, making sure yeah. she's not being s- smother sister. It also uh, doesn't help that we have a dog. Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah. Just take I love care of Blair, Blair, but <laughs> that's a whole nother thing. Yeah, exactly. I remember for Colin when he came, when he came home, I was legitimately terrified. Mm. Like, this this kid is so fragile. I remember I didn't sleep the first night. They I have just, a self destruct button. I just I, yeah, <laughs> a little part on their head that if you like push it too hard, like brain damage. What? It's like yeah. a okay, yeah, you're right. You it's know, like a like soft they're, they're, spot. Yes, because their head like their it's skull is fully, fully like connected. That always freaks me out. I didn't know that. Maybe I well, shouldn't call maybe it the self destruct button, but <laughs> I was like, "Excuse me." <laughs> um, but I remember just like being terrified at every like movement he made. Mm. Like, oh, he's breathing a little weird. Yeah. Or hey, what's that little bump? And there? I expect it to change with the second. Oh, <laughs> it changed <laughs> so much. It's it changed so much, and it's just like there's a sense of like we know what to do. Yep. The baby's okay. Yep. Like we don't need to, p- nobody panic. Yep. It's going to be okay. And I feel like that's normal. Like for first time parents, it's just like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Yeah. And so, um, well, I'm going to do, I think that goes back to what I said earlier where my parents didn't drop me, but they dropped my brother. Exactly. Lot. Yeah. You know, yeah. like there's, there's a little bit more like we got this, but yeah. then also like a little bit more laxness. Yeah. That's kind of what yeah. I'm expecting. Exactly. Especially. And then Quinn co- has come. Yeah. I would say Sarah is more lax with Quinn okay. than maybe, um, she has with the other boys because uh, I mean, I'm not saying she's like not, <laughs> lax or something like that but like um you could just tell like she's okay with her crying a little bit more um it's like understanding that hey she's okay she's a baby yeah. she's just throwing a bit of a fit things like yeah. that um so i would say first time around it's terrifying and then it just gets 
substantially easier. Yeah. yeah. What what's it gonna be like for baby four? Baby four is not happening. <laughs> Why does everybody keep saying you this? You gotta switch. Doesn't mean it doesn't make anything. I just bought one because I wanted one. <laughs> there was no leverage there. I remember a deal being struck that No, you, you and Steven switch. made a deal. I never made no deal. I never made no deal. <laughs> Here's the thing. I am I am <sighs> And this is a little bit off topic, but like I, I, I don't hate the idea of having a fourth kid. I yeah. really don't. But like Sarah and I were married for maybe ten months before yeah, we were married for ten months before we found out we were pregnant. Oh wow. With our first. Yeah. So it was pretty soon. Um and I would love to have some time to Sarah. Yeah. Like it's I been since day one and she understands this. Yeah. Like since day one, we've had a few months together and then baby came and it's like, I want to go on a vacation with you, just us and just spend a week. Yeah. Like that's what I really want. So we got to decide what that looks like because like the kids have had Sarah for a long time and I want to be able to, you know, spend some really good quality time with Sarah. And it's difficult as parents, especially with infants and toddlers that like wake up in the middle of the night and and things like that. So you never know. Yeah, I'm not saying yes or <laughs> I'm not saying no either. So I'm trying, Sarah. I'm trying. Yeah, stop trying. <laughs> so <laughs> we've got a couple minutes left, and I wanna, I wanna do, I wanna talk about one element of this. So I put a poll out there today um, on our Instagram, just asking people what they thought was more difficult. Um, which I want to look and see. So I said, "What's harder, newborn toddlers?" Ninety percent said toddlers. Ten percent said newborn. Um, granted there's only 10 people who voted, but still, I mean, but still nine out yeah. of 10, that's a pretty, um, and then I asked, what do you prefer newborns versus toddlers? Um, and it was, it was like 44% to 56%. So it was, it was a lot yeah. more tied, but I bring this up because I, I got, I then asked, like, explain to me why, like, why do you feel this way? Um, and I got a response from a guy, uh, named Joe who started following us after, last two weeks ago's podcast okay. with uh, Jeff. Um, and he brought up something that I never would have even thought about. He said that um, for him, the newborn season was a lot harder because his wife was dealing with postpartum depression. Yeah. And wow. so yeah. like I, he brought that up. I'm like, I cannot imagine like first you're already like newborn season. Like as a dad, you're still kind of like, what do I do? How can I help? But then, knowing that your wife is struggling too, like is just like, it's, it's a whole yeah. other level. Yeah. Um, and we, we had ended up having like a full conversation. It, it got a lot deeper than that. Um, and I'm not going to share it all on here, but um, like, it just made me think of like, we have our reasons why we think yeah. one is harder than the other, but like for Emma and I, we haven't dealt with postpartum depression yet. And hopefully we don't, but, um, there's a lot of families out there who have, and that like is a whole nother dynamic. And I'm sure there are other elements too, right? Like, yeah, I know people who have had, uh, who have been like living with their in-laws when they've got a newborn. Like I can't imagine living with other people with a newborn because I'm just so preoccupied of like, I don't want to bother them. Yeah. I don't want the baby crying. Right. So like there are so many different elements out there that make, one of these seasons more difficult, more enjoyable. Um, and it just made me think like all of these seasons, like they're seasons to be valued yeah. as a parent. Um, but they're also seasons like that you're going to struggle through. Yeah. Um, and that's okay. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, no, that's good. And I think, it, I think step one is like, you know, in a situation like, like you experienced today with Joe, like just being vulnerable and open with that kind of stuff yeah. too. Like if you feel like that, that, that's something that you could be struggling with. Like, like it is so important to talk about it and be yeah. like, Hey, what do I need to do to get out of this? Yeah. Um, and things like that. So yeah. that's I cool. was really thankful he reached yeah. out because that was, that was a, it was a really good yeah, Very eye opening. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, we are at the end of our time. We're literally like 30 seconds from the camera shutting off. So, Thank you guys for watching like and subscribe. We really do ask that if, if you like this video, share it, share it on your social media, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely. We'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Bye.
Uh, Emma tried something today. She tried to, she wants to get Amelia body trained before Milo comes. Mm -hmm. And so she just decided to put her in underwear. She's like, don't pee. We're eating dinner. She's in underwear. She pees. <laughs> like that would have been really cool if it didn't happen, but it happened. Oh man, that should be our beginning seg- segment before. Oh, that's always. <laughs> why, why do you think I do this? Okay, I was like, that's actually really <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. But hey, <laughs> oh man, Wait, Dude, I, you know I do that stuff intentionally, right? Yeah, that makes that's hilarious. That's why I don't move the mic away. Yeah. So if you ever got something, go for it. 